Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in this episode, we are finally going to create the multi-auth system. That means the authentication system we have for the user, which is created by PHP artisan auth command. We are now going to create the same system for admin and it is totally, totally different. It has the different uh, controller, different views, different, uh, different data tables. So let's see how we will do that. For that, obviously, we will go to the sublime text where I have installed the level and where we have working on the authentication series. So now I will go to my app folder the HTTP folder, the controller, and you can see this auth folder. Now I will go to this auth folder and copy everything, every controller from here. So copy, and now I will create a new folder called admin, and I will paste everything inside this admin folder. So paste. Now the next thing we have to do obviously as we are inside the admin folder so we have to change the namespace to admin okay similarly for login controller admin register controller admin and reset password controller admin okay let's close the next thing will be we will go to the resources folder, views folder, auth folder. We will do the same thing. We will just copy everything from here. Copy and I will create a folder called admin. And inside that folder, I will paste everything. And now go to the login.plate.php. And instead of this simple login, I will say it's admin login. And here the route will be admin.login. Go to the bottom and here admin.password.request. Okay, so now go to the password folder inside this email.blade.php. Say here admin reset password. Say here admin.password.email. Go to reset.blade.php say here admin reset password and admin admin dot password dot request so i think we have done here okay so the next thing will be we have to create a home page like this for our admin so i will go to this admin folder inside that admin folder i will create the home dot blade.php and inside this home i will just copy everything from users home to this uh, admin home and i will say here it's admin dashboard and you are logged in as admin okay so we have seen that we have created many of the route here but these route are actually not yet exist so let's just quickly create every route for us we have to create a route but how we will know what route we have to create so for that we will go to the command prompt and we will type php artisan route list and you can see here you can see here these routes are for the user and we want same type of route so let's just copy every route from here and up to the login let's copy home also and paste it here and now the first route will be route and it's a get request so that's good and it will be it will be admin slash home okay so it will be done now the next thing will be obviously the controller name 
so we want a admin controller which is which is not yet exist so we will create obviously but after this so this is done okay so semicolon and the next route we can say obviously a get request as it see, it is seeing now this is the login route so this will be obviously login but this is the name of the route you can see this is name here the name is given but we will we will put the name after so just quickly say here admin because this login controller is inside our admin folder this is login controller which is inside our admin folder so this is admin folder backslash login controller and the function name okay so this is good and obviously we know that we have to give a name for this route and name will be login but in but we are working for the admin so it will be admin dot login okay now the next route is a post route and its name also login but it's a post request okay so i will say admin as we know that this is inside our admin folder so go here and we does not have any name for this route so this will be simply done the next route will be a post route again which is of logout but we does not require this logout why because the logout created for the user is work for us in the admin section also because when you logging out it will log out from every user so it's not required so delete this the next route is also a post route so it's a post route and it's a password slash email so i can say it is admin dash password slash email okay so it's good the next thing is password dot email its name we know that this is the name so we will give the name af after the controller name so i will say admin and we know that password controller is inside our admin folder so forgot password controller so we will do that and now i will close this and give it a name of what is the name let's see name is password dot email but in our case it will become admin dot password dot email okay close this the next route route get request and it's a password slash reset so i will say admin dash password slash reset okay it's good and its name is password dot request so we will do obviously after this so it's done so the name will be password dot request but in our case admin dot password dot request close this and the next route is a post route now it's good okay so it's a password slash reset it's a post route but it will be admin dash password slash reset okay so we will create the admin and now it has name let's check it's a post request it will not have any name i think yes it supports request so it does not has any name so it's good okay so semicolon and the last route of many of the routes okay so it's the last route and admin dash password slash reset slash token and we will done after that and obviously it has the name of password dot reset and which will be given at the last 
it's good it's good and the name and the name will be admin dot password dot what the name will be reset okay semicolon so now we have successfully completed the route but we know that we does not have the admin controller so let's see how we will do that obviously we go to controllers folder and i will create file called admin controller.php and simply copy everything from this home controller of user to the admin controller and you will say here admin okay and just comment this so that it will not redirect you to to the login page and here obviously you will say admin.home because our admin home page is inside this admin folder okay so it is done now the next thing we are going to do we are going to create the guard obviously we will go to the config folder and auth folder and here you can see the default guard is web and the web guard is here so let's just copy this and say here admin and it will has the provider of admins but we does not have provider of admins so let's just create the providers so here again i will copy paste and i will say admins and it will use the model of admin we does not have the model of admin yet but we will create that model after this so let's just complete this so here also i will say admins and provider will be admins it's done okay so we have successfully created the guard for our admin okay the next thing is we require a model as we have seen in the guard so let's create the guard so we will go to the app folder and create a new file called admin.php and simply copy paste everything from the user model and here you say admin okay so it's good and now the next thing will be go to our admin folder inside the controllers and go to the login controller and here you can see it will be redirecting you to home and this is the home page of user but we does not require but we does not require to redirect to home actually this redirection is after the login that means when when the admin successfully logged in it will redirect to admin slash home okay this we want and obviously the middleware will be of guest as admin okay so it's good and now what we can do we can go to the password controller here also i can say admin okay and con register controller also admin and it will be admin password reset controller that means after password reset it will redirect to the home page and it will be again admin okay and the last thing is we are going to create the table for our uh, admin okay so for that obviously we need a migration table and obviously for creating the migration we will go to our command prompt type php artisan make migration the migration name is create admins admin table and it will be create admins okay let's see and yes our our migration has been created so let's just copy everything from user schema and paste it inside our admin so i will just paste we does not require a last name here now we have created the migration so let's just run the migrate command and before that we have already connected the database in our last videos so let's just quickly go to php go to command prompt and type php artisan migrate and let's see what the result is migration is successfully created so let's see go to the database click refresh 
okay and uh, you can see the table is created okay so let's just quickly insert a user inside here so i will say name will be admin email will be bitfumes at gmail.com and password for password i will just go to users table and copy the password because the password is hashed so i will copy password and paste it here and click go so we have a user or we have a admin okay so we have done everything for our multi auth system let's just quickly check the routes so i will go to admin and it will give me an error because what happened is that we will go to web.php and we will say here not login and we will say admin because login is reserved for user so i will say admin again that means when we type admin we will go to the admin login page so now when you hit enter you will get the login page but you can see it's login but we want the admin login and similarly when we go to the home page we have this login and register system but we require a logout system so we will do all these things we will create this logout system here we will get the admin login page here in the next episode because this episode is going very far so we will meet in the next episode if you have any doubt in this episode please feel free to comment me share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel and please follow me on twitter facebook instagram you can message me there also and don't forget to subscribe this is a very important thing so we will meet in the next episode till then be happy goodbye